but it was a single minded focus and determination he made his debut in the opponents were so scared of him and that was the magic that he brought to the you know he perfection is a myth uh, you know you cannot chase perfection but excellence is something which everyone should strive for and as they always say greatest things come in short packages Hi friends welcome it was indeed a very shocking news when i heard about the sad and untimely demise of the football legend diego armando maradona a few days back not just for me but for many of football lovers across the world so in this video i want to talk about maradona the great player he was my experience of watching him play and the comparison with our own great sachin tendulkar and what we can learn from the lives of these great sports persons so maradona was born in 1960 in argentina and right from his childhood he had this deep passion towards football as a young boy when he was interviewed he said my dream is to play for argentina and win the world cup he had a tough time growing up right he did not come from a very well off family so to speak but it was a single minded focus and determination he made his debut in 1982 world cup but then finally in 1986 single handedly he took argentina to world club glory and he was a terror on the football pitch he holds the record for the maximum fouls against a player not just once in three world cups he was fouled 53 times in the 1986 world cup 50 times in the 1990 world cup and more than 30 times even in the 1982 world cup so the opponents were so scared of him and that was the magic that he brought to the you know he was almost a demigod for the people who followed him he was a he was a terror and a, and he was scary for the defenders who had to confront with him in a football pitch and i still remember the 1990 world cup so vividly not just me many of uh, the people from my generation fell in love with football fell in love with argentina team because maradona was playing right even today after 30 years when a match happens we may not even know who is playing for argentina in the 11 members who are playing in the football team but everyone will support argentina because it is maradona's team that is the kind of connect and the kind of emotional connect that he brought for a sport which was not very popular even in india at that point of time but football and argentina and maradona were so popular i still remember i even remember the date july 8th of 1990 when it was a double whammy my very favorite tennis player boris becker he lost the wimbledon finals in the evening at london and in rome the same night argentina lost the world cup finals to west germany and i still remember uh, as a 11 year old boy crying you know uncontrollably in my school the whole day the next day you know i was not able to take both the defeats on the same day as a school kid not just that maradona made number 10 jersey famous even pele used to wear uh, number 10 but it was maradona who made number 10 famous for our generation and you know my house number door number even today is number 10 and you know i used to have that emotional connect just because i also live in house number 10 and maradona also used to wear 10 but that is the kind of uh, passion and the kind of connection that maradona brought and not just for his country argentina he took a very average napoli team in italy in the italian premier league to title two times in 1987 and 1990 so he was arguably the greatest footballer in the history of of football in the world and our own sachin tendulkar why am i comparing both these people because tendulkar also right from his childhood he spent hours together in shivaji maidan in bombay training under achrekar and other coaches and you know his only aim as he had told in the interviews as a young kid was also to become a world champion but it did not come easy for him again we were so close to winning it in 1996 we lost in the semi final we lost in the final in 2003 and finally after 22 years after making his debut in 2011 he finally was able to lift the world cup 
and this shows the perseverance the commitment the single minded focus that these sports persons brought to their respective sports of course off the field they were two different personalities like maradona had his share of controversies even on the field the the famous or the infamous hand of uh, god goal against england in the 1986 quarter finals but followed by within 4 minutes by probably the greatest goal of the century as fifa itself calls it but off the field he was a drug addict he was into too much of alcoholism which finally took away his life at the age of 60 which is not very old but it, all that uh, you know weighed down on his body and uh, he had to uh, face the consequences of that whereas tendulkar is more humble and is more measured and controlled in his uh, life outside of the field and is a role model to emulate but outside of the football field or the cricket field they are their personal lives what we should look at is the single minded focus and passion that they brought and the beauty of these two greats is that they owned team sport in an individual way maradona single handedly took argentina to victory in the 1986 world cup he single handedly took napoli to two titles in 1987 and 1990 and the same with tendulkar during the 1990s he was carrying the burden of the entire cricket team though it's a team sport on his individual shoulders and as shri kamla hasan says perfection is a myth uh, you know you cannot chase perfection but excellence is something which everyone should strive for i think that is the excellence which these two sports persons displayed in their respective sports and we should take that as a life lesson and try and excel in our own small way in everything that we do and if we do that consistently we will have a very satisfying and a wonderful life and as they always say greatest things come in short packages these two gentlemen were not physically big in stature but in terms of their achievement in terms of their excellence in terms of the passion that they brought to the sport that they played they were truly greats in their own way so digo armando maradona the man maybe no more but i think his football and the football legacy of his will continue to motivate will continue to inspire will continue to enthrall not just football players but football lovers like us all around the world thanks for watching i will see you again with another video next week